Hello everyone, I'm Lucian Kane with Tactos Ridge Saber Academy. Uh, today we're going to be coming to you with a tutorial on the Plum Blossom Flourish. Uh, this is a, a flourish that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, it's a technical flourish, so it takes a little bit of time to get down, but uh, what I've done is, is uh, I've broken the move down into two parts to make it easier to learn uh, and easier to master. So what we're going to do today is, is we're, going to, uh, we're going to do a demonstration uh, tutorial and then we're going to also demonstrate how it's used in, uh, in a sparring situation. In a Alright, so to uh, facilitate the learning of the Plum Blossom Flourish, uh, we've broken this move down into two basic parts. Uh, I got the inspiration from this from watching the Deceive trailer uh, from, from SWOTOR, the cinematic trailers that Blur made a few years ago before the release of the game. Uh, so what we've done is, is we've broken this down into two parts. The first part is what you're going to do is, is you're going to act like an enemy is attacking you from behind. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to flourish into a block that block is guarding your back. Then what you do is from there is you twist and pivot your feet to present a counterattack towards your enemy. So what it looks like whenever you do it at full speed is you go here, then you turn and strike. Now what that's doing is that's teaching you to use your hips and your shoulder to power the saber from behind your back, back in front of you. So what you do is, is you stand straight. You visualize an opponent attacking from behind. You look at this opponent. Then you bring your saber behind. Notice my arm is not behind my back, neither is my hilt. Just the blade is guarding my back. From there, you twist and strike. All right, so here to help me uh, demonstrate the application of this technique, She's going to be my partner and hopefully not take my head off. All right. So once again, this is the, the two-part breakdown of the, of the Plum Blossom Flourish. So Julie is going to be attacking from behind. I'm going to defend using the Plum Blossom and then turn to present a target to her and counterattack. So the block comes here. You push. So we'll show that again. The block comes here, push, strike. The block comes here, push, strike. The reason this works is because you're using the turn of your body. Because otherwise she has a strong, she has a strong advantage over you. So push. If she pushes, the blade goes into me. That's no good. So what happens, the key to this technique working is you block immediately turn because that turns your blade back this way and you turn and present your blade to strike. It's all coming from the hips and from the shoulders. So once again, we're going to have our attack. that the Plum Blossom Flourish can be used for is to execute a spin during combat. Uh, one of the big uh, disadvantages of turning your back to an opponent is that you have no guard. So whenever I spin, I'm immediately exposed. She can kill me uh, with relative ease. So whenever you do need to spin uh, in your background, what you do is you can use the Plum Blossom Flourish to manipulate your opponent's blade and keep them from hitting you while you spin. So what happens is, is she's in a guard and I come here to move by. And you can use that to, to close distance or to, uh, or to increase distance. So you see here I'm using it to close distance. While here I'm going to use it to get away. So when she's attacking, I catch and I immediately move away. 
Uh, both are useful in certain circumstances and can get you out of a tight jam, especially whenever you're drilling multiple pumps. And again. All right. Thank you.